Dear crypto family, let's keep on learning about transactions. I am sure in this video you will learn a lot. Check it out. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's keep on talking about transactions. All the transactions in Bitcoin, they have inputs and they have outputs, except one transaction that is called the Coinbase transaction. This is the first one that occurs in a block. And this transaction does not have inputs. Okay, the inputs that this transaction is going to have is the block reward that is going to be given to the miner, to the person that is able to mine the block, to close the, the block by providing the right nonce, which is an, a, a number or a puzzle that they need to solve in order to uh, block, uh, mine the block. Okay, that is the only exception. All the other transactions, they do have inputs and they have outputs. The inputs where used to be outputs from previous transactions and the outputs are going to be inputs in following transactions and the outputs until they are used until they are spent they are called what we learned in the previous video go and check it out they are called unspent output transactions right the first thing that we need to do is to clarify that I meet the conditions uh, to send the money to someone else. And I do that by clarifying that I own the private key in order to send, sign the message and send the money. Another thing that I'm going to prove is that the sum of these inputs uh, is greater, is bigger than the outputs, meaning that I have enough funds, funds to send money to someone else. Otherwise the, tra otherwise the transaction would not be valid and the nodes would not agree with this information, the nodes that are constantly checking uh, what's going on in the system. Okay, that would not be a valid transaction. Another thing that I want, that I need to clarify is uh, the reference of each one of these inputs, meaning that I have to prove where these inputs uh, where this Bitcoin came from and I can do that because all the transactions in Bitcoin are uh, public transaction and everybody can see where they came from and uh, there is always a connection between who gave me the money previously okay so I, w I need to uh, clarify that information as well and talking about the out outputs I need to not only clarify how much Bitcoin I want to send to someone but I need to know that the person matches the con conditions to, set, to receive the money that I want to send him. And those conditions would be uh, like this. Like I would send the message like this. Send X amount of Bitcoin to the person whose private key matches a certain public key. All right. I only know his pr uh, public key. All right. So whenever I have clarified uh, these conditions, uh, as I said before, the sum of the inputs have to be greater, have to be greater than the outputs. So A, this is B, A has to be greater than B. And uh, we can also say that the difference between, wait, the difference between them both, okay, is the transaction fee. Is the fee that the miners are going to uh, collect. This is one of the economical incentives that the miners have in order to behave and do their work honestly. Okay, so the difference between them both is the transaction fee. Let's put numbers. Let's say that the sum of my inputs is 1.5 Bitcoin and I want to send to my friend one Bitcoin here. Okay, nice. One rule, there is one rule. All the inputs have to be spent in one transaction. This is information that not everybody knows. All the, informa all the inputs have to be spent in one transaction, meaning that the difference here is how much? 0 0.5 Bitcoin. 0 0.5 Bitcoin is a very high transaction fee, right? for the amount that I want to be sending. So in this case, 
what we're going to do is we are going, let's say that we don't have this output here. We are going to add another output of, to this transaction. And this meaning that we are going to send the reminder, the difference between these two, which is way too high, we're going to send a little bit of that to myself again, to another address that I control. And this output is called, I don't know if you can see it, change. This output is called the change. And um, it is exactly based on that. All the inputs have to be spent in one transaction, and in one transaction I, I can have uh, uh, many outputs, okay? And the difference, when the difference is way too high, the reminder I can send it back to myself, and the, the, what is left is going to be the transaction fee. I hope you got what I have just said, all right? And before we end and we go to the best part, which is the next video, the name of this transaction, each transaction has a name. The message has a name. And the name is not going to be the message itself because it's way too long. Remember, it's all about messages. Um, it's going to be a hash of that message, which you're going to learn in the next video. Go and check it out. And in, in, in Bitcoin, we use SHA-256, all right? This is super interesting. This information is going to take your knowledge to the next level. Go and check it out. Hope you learned more about transactions and how they work and the conditions and that the rule that all the transactions, all the inputs have to be spent uh, in one transaction and that we, ha we can have um, different outputs in one transaction, all right? Um, that is all for this video. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.